right, so hello and welcome everyone. I'm over here, a bit of a different video. I'm not gonna have my face in it this time, but we are going to be talking about waxing at home. Today I'm going to be waxing my arms and I had gotten some requests on Snapchat when I mentioned it if I would do a video and kind of tutorial. And now I do have a kind of how to wax at home using hard wax uh, post already up on my blog, so I will be linking that down below. Just so you guys have that for your reference, um, in case I miss mentioning anything, I highly recommend checking that post out because I can go through everything and uh, yeah, just in case I miss anything here, there is also that post. So yeah, today I was wanting to wax my arms and as you guys can see, I have a good bit going on. I do not wax my arms regularly. Um, I basically just kind of, uh, as I have time, probably every two or so months, I will take the time to just wax it really quick just to kind of keep it, um, I mean, not hairless obviously because I let it get this long but just not as hairy if you guys didn't know I am part Brazilian so I tend to have very dark hair and um I like I like waxing it. But yeah, I like to wax it every couple months just to keep it under control. And when I do that, I also like to wax my face and just kind of get the peach fuzz off of my face because I feel like makeup application is a lot smoother without, without all the peach fuzz on my face. But yeah, today I'm just gonna be showing you what I have when I uh, wax at home and then I'll be showing you an example on my arm. Um, but yeah, with all that said, let's just dive into it. I'm sitting on the floor plugged in and hopefully all in frame for you guys. Let's just run through everything. This is obviously a wax melter I just got off of Amazon. I'll have everything that I have here listed down below. I don't think it really matters what kind of wax warmer you use, but I would recommend you get one that you can control the heat settings because if you just have one that's on and off, I had one before, and it was horrible because you don't have any control over how hot you get it. And often, I mean, it was always just way too hot for me. So I like this and that I can control it. So when I turn it on, I turn it kind of to medium to get the wax melted. And then once it's melted and I'm getting ready to actually use it, I just put it all the way down right, like right before it turns off. Like, like that. I just kind of leave it right there on very, very low. So it keeps the wax at a perfect temperature. And as I said, I use hard wax. I will leave, as I said, um, the brand that I use and I find the most painless down below. I do not recommend Gigi's hard wax um, at all. I tried that and thought it was very painful and difficult to use. But this is a type of blue wax. I believe the brand is called Seafield. I forget. I forget how to pronounce their name, but I love their wax, highly recommend it, and it's not that expensive, so yeah, I just put it in there. And the reason this is all a mess is because I highly recommend you do as I say, not as I do, and use one of these to help kind of keep things clean. I mean, this this is just my personal one. I'm the only one who uses it, so I often forget to put this on, and then it just gets all messy, and hard wax is hard to clean up. Anyway, so let's just run through everything here. First up, I have this pre-honey, pre-wax cleanser. This is from the brand Gigi. I don't have much experience, but I just do recommend that you do use something to cleanse your skin before going in to wax it. Just to make sure your skin is clean because when you wax and remove the hair, you're leaving leaving those pores in your arms open where the hair follicles were and you don't wanna you know, cause bacteria to get in and cause more breakouts than needed. Depending on the area I'm waxing, um, I like to use an oil or back here, baby powder. Um, if the area I'm waxing is rather dry, definitely an oil to kind of help the hard wax not stick to the skin too much and just make it easier to remove. This is pre-epilation oil from Gigi. Again, not much experience. I, this is the only brand I've tried. I do want to venture out and try more. If I'm waxing an area that uh, tends to sweat a lot, so for example, if I'm waxing my bikini area, um, and it just, as I'm working, especially waxing myself, it tends to just, make that area sweat and more damp. I like to use baby powder, same kind of concept as the oil, and just helping the wax not adhere to your skin and make it easier to remove. Depending on the area you're waxing and your pain tolerance, you might wanna look into some kind of numbing solution, and this is just what I picked up at my Sally Beauty Supply, and it seems to work pretty well. I highly recommend you have something to use to remove the wax from off your skin because no matter how good you are at it, you're going to leave some residue behind. Um, people have told me that they use any kind of like oil, coconut oil, olive oil, that works too, but this is just what I have, so I've been going through it. I also like to apply some kind of lotion moisturizer after I finish waxing the area, and this one is like a slow growth type of a moisturizer, so kind of dual purpose in that it moisturizes 
the skin but also helps to slow the growth of like the um when the hair grows back so i recommend having something you know again not specifically this brand but some type of really good moisturizer and if you want to invest in some type of moisturizer that also has um something to help slow the growth of the hair since you went through all that work to remove it that's also good but yeah, some kind of moisturizer for afterwards. And the last step, I do like to have some type of soothing gel or solution or something to help prevent ingrown hairs and bumps. So this is a roll-on one that I just got. Um, looks like this, but the another one I have currently in my bathroom is one that I just like pour out onto a cotton round and apply it to the area and I try to do that. Ideally, I think it's like once a day, but I tend to do it whenever I get out of the shower just to help, uh, you know, tone down any breakouts or ingrown hairs something like this I highly recommend and then last up most obviously I think is you need some type of wooden sticks to apply the um, the wax to and if you didn't know with hard wax you don't need any kind of muslim strip sheets it hardens on itself so that you can remove it just with the um, wax and without having to put anything on top of it which is why I love hard wax it's a lot less messy less sticky and a lot easier and quicker I find before we dive in I did want to give a disclaimer that I am not an esthetician I do not do waxing full time I learned a little bit about it in cosmetology school probably two years ago and then I was going and getting waxed at a salon a waxing salon for a good solid year before I started doing it at home just as a way to both save money and save time because as a mom it was just hard to get away to my waxing appointments so yeah I am not licensed in this I am not a professional this is all information that all the information that I'm sharing is stuff that I've learned along the way and I just you know want to help you if you're interested in waxing at home I highly recommend starting like if you want to start waxing at home start by like waxing your arms because I feel like that's pretty painless uh, out of all the areas that I've waxed at home by myself or that I've gotten waxed over the years arms are pretty painless and pretty easy and straightforward and it's not like you can mess it up yeah I think that's about all that I wanted to say before diving in so let's just get started shall we all right so I'm gonna move these things back and out of the way so that I can be here and show you guys what I'm doing but first up I'm going to start with the pre honey cleanser and just get a bit on my cotton pad and then just clean nothing fancy nothing not that difficult pretty self-explanatory just cleaning the area that I'm going to wax I should probably tell you guys that I'm only planning to wax probably from um, I do a little bit on my arm but from here to probably here because from here on up the I have very very fine very light toned hair so honestly it's just not worth it to me to take the time to wax all that I typically after the day after I wax my arms I'll just take my husband's uh edger that he uses to that we use to edge uh his hair when I cut it and I just kind of shave off the peach fuzz and call it a day I'm just going to take a bit of the oil and do the same thing and this time I'm going to be kind of going downward on my hair just to lay it all down now the arm is a little tricky because I'm sure if you've been you know reading into waxing at home you've heard that you're supposed to apply the wax in the direction of the hair growth and then remove it in the opposite direction but with your arm hair at least at least my arm hair it lays the let me be in frame it lays this way so unless I want to sit there and do a bunch of tiny little um strips going like this and this and then I pull it off the opposite way it just is not very feasible I just tend to go one long strip down my arm and then pull it off and then um, sometimes because probably because I'm not doing it in the direction of the hair growth I'll have patches where it misses but then I just kind of go over those areas and it all works out so I like these type of larger wooden sticks for doing my arms and then the smaller one which I have in my pot right now uh, I like to use that for around my face so yeah anyway let's see I'm gonna try I should probably do this arm yeah I'll, I'll do this arm so that I can use my right arm and not block y'all all right so changing it up a bit but I wanted to show you guys what the hard wax looks like again this is like a blue hard wax so that's why the color is what it is but whenever I scoop it I like to just grab some and then I roll it like this until it starts or until it stops being stringy and then I take it over to my arm and I tend to wait a couple seconds before applying it you see how easy this is running down off of the hard wax that's a little hot for my preference 
So I like to wait until it just slows down a bit. At this point, like see how slowly it's going down? At this point, I feel like it's the perfect time to apply it. It's not too warm where it's gonna run everywhere and make a mess, and it's not too cold where it's gonna be hard to apply. So, let's zoom back out and get going. All right, trying to film this and stay in frame is extremely hard. Um, anyway, just getting the wax. I know you can't really see it. I'm back here, but I'm doing the same thing, just kind of twirling it round and around. At this point, it's ready. And I just lay it here and I kind of swipe it up once to get both sides off of it. And then I push it down and then kind of bring it back up. So yeah, that's it. And you want to get a, it fairly thin. So this is like the trickiest part of using hard wax, but once you figure it out, you can just like fly through this. Like I can do my arms in like ten, less than 10 minutes. But you want to make it thin enough where it's easy to peel because if it's too thick, it one, takes long a long time to dry, and two, is more painful and harder and stiffer to peel up. But you don't want it so thin that when you go to peel it up, it just kind of breaks. Like right here is a little thin, so it's gonna honestly be a little difficult to get a lip. Ideally, you wanna kind of bring, when you swoop, swoop it around, you kinda wanna bring more product and leave it down here so it's easy to pick up. At this point, like I just kinda touch it, and when I can touch it, I don't know how many seconds that was. I just start picking at the end to get a lip up. And once I got a lip, get this over here. So yeah, this is a tiny bit thin, but up here, like this area is pretty, pretty perfect. This is a bit thin, but that, I don't think that'll be a big deal. Anyway, once you got a lip, you just pull. Like that, and then this part, this is the part I was telling you that's a little thin, so it just, it broke off. So yeah, the hardest part of, you know, figuring out hard waxing is just figuring out that ideal thickness, and you wanna work quickly, cause it's hot. Anyway, yeah, that was the first strip. So I just wanna get up close. I really don't know if you'll be able to see, but you guys saw beforehand how much hair I had right here. Um, but yeah, so this is pretty much all, I can't really see any patches that it missed, so that's good. Um, a little bit of residue here from the outskirts just catching on to the hair, but we'll grab that on another pass. Same story on this side. And yes, be prepared if you want a hard wax at home, you will have wax all underneath your fingernails. So don't do your nails right before waxing or you'll ruin them. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And if you're that person who likes to see the wax or the hair on the wax, I can try to show you, but I really don't think it's gonna be that exciting since it is arm hair. It's a it's a lot more fine, but you can see all the little little hair follicles. And yeah, at this point, I just kind of keep doing it. So I will try to stay in frame, but I'm probably just going to speed past this because it's all repetitive at this point. Pretty much done all of this my forearm here is all hairless I think we're gonna do one more strip down here but that's just gonna be so hard to stay in frame I'm gonna do, also do my arms I guess I can show you guys that not that I have like a whole lot of arm hair but when you wax your at least for me personally when I wax up to here and then I leave my arm hair I feel like it's most obvious so So one thing I don't think I mentioned, but you might have seen it when I was doing it, when you go and apply and you sweep back and you're done, like you wanna put the orange wood stick away, make sure you kind of like 
pick it up from your skin and then you know as, after you get to the end you pick it up and then twirl it like this to kind of let this because there's going to be strings attached because it's the hard wax just twirl it like this for a couple seconds to kind of let those stringing pieces dry and harden and then you can just kind of flick it up and it'll break the string and then you can throw away your orange wood stick and you'll be able to um you know not be stringing hard wax all over the place a lot cleaner that's a tip i wanted to share so yeah at this point i would take you know once i finished my arm i would take the uh wax off cleanser or this wax off remover a wax remover and i just get a little bit it's like a lotion this one from Gigi, and then i just kind of get it over you know any kind of spot and then um yeah i follow that up with my slow growth So I'm trying to get as close as my camera will allow. I hope this is in focus, but yeah, here's what my skin looks like now. All hairless, my arm, and then just as a reminder, this is my other arm that I'm gonna do off camera because this pregnant mama is having a hard time <laughs> staying in frame and doing this, so yeah. But that's honestly it, and then you have smooth skin this will typically last like since it's my arm hair and you don't I feel like you don't notice it coming back as quickly I feel like I get a nice solid month of really smooth soft you know hairless skin and then I can start to feel I mean you start to feel it in like I think technically two weeks or so but I don't really notice it until a good solid month so it's nice on my arms on my face how long does it mm, probably like a good two weeks and then I can start feeling the peach fuzz coming back um, if you're waxing your bikini area you got a good solid week of smooth skin and then you'll start to see it coming back same I'm sure for legs I've never waxed my legs here we'll just zoom back out no need to sit there and look at my arm but yeah legs in a bikini area you tend to see the regrowth and notice it and feel it um, I would say about a week or so afterwards just because the hair is a lot more coarser than what's on your arms or your face so at least that's kind of my guess my understanding of it but yeah that is how I hard wax at home. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions that um, I didn't mention in this video, uh, please feel free to ask them down below or check out my blog post to see if maybe I mentioned it there. Um, once again, I am not a licensed, uh, you know, esthetician. I don't wax as a, you know, I'm not a professional waxer. I don't do this for a living. I am not a professional, so <laughs> take my advice with a grain of salt. Um, actually, my biggest recommendation if you're wanting to wax at home would be to go to a waxing salon for a little while and just experience it. That way you can know, you know, the pain tolerance, you know how you do, but have someone else do it. And then I, as I said, I had, I went to a waxing salon and got it done for about a year before I started doing it at home. And when I was going, I would ask questions about the wax, about what they used, about the temperature, about the different products they used on me, and I would watch them. And that's honestly how I learned to wax at home, by watching the professionals do it on me. So that would be my recommendation, especially if you're a little nervous about trying to do it yourself and you're not sure about the, you know, the pain uh, that if you'd be able to handle it, if it would be worth investing in this. Because I think, I mean, I don't think it, like all this together, I don't think it was over $100, but it is a little bit of an investment. So yeah, I would recommend, you know, maybe going in and uh, for at least a couple months or so and just experiencing a professional do it and kind of learn from them and then determine from there if it's something you wanna try doing at home or just not doing it all or just stick into the professionals. But uh, yeah, with all that said, I think that about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. If this was informative or at all helpful to you, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.